Today, we are going to get into what you guys need to be doing to maximize your coins before team of the year. If you guys are interested in buying Mutt coins, go to easymutt.com. Use code DOG to save 5% off. Top link in the to save your coins before team of the year and to make put yourself in a best position to make coins or get the cards you want during this team of the year promo. Now, before we start this video, man, I just want to say that you guys have to be careful right now. EA has not re they have not announced who's going to be dropping for team of the year. They have not announced every single card yet. But when they announce it on their Twitter page, the market will crash. It will hit a hard crash. I promise you guys, we're talking about training is going to be at a low. Cards are going to be at an all-time low. They just released two cards. They released CJ Mosley and they released uh, Randall Cobb. So they just released those two cards today. And the market hasn't... It, it's taken a little dip, but it hasn't dipped too hard yet. But I do want to say before you guys get into, you know, buying cars and be like, oh, this is a good buy. This is a good buy. Be patient. Be very patient on how you spend your coins right now. Be smart, because if you guys want to even get one player from team of the year, they're probably going to be, I don't know, like they might be the more expensive cars in the game. But at the same time, they also might not be that expensive. It just depends on how. EA decides to disperse them. Will we be able to go ahead and put those team of the year uh, collectibles right into the sets and get a free card, or what? Because if you if you can do that, a lot of people are going to get free cards, and that's going to drop the price a lot. Like if the cards come out and they're like, let's just say they're like 300k, and then you can go ahead right away and put those uh, team of the year tokens in the set. A lot of people are going to put those. Uh, they're going to get free cards and then they're going to sell them really quick and want to get those get them coins get them free coins and then at that point what's going to happen is the card is going to drop so if a card comes out as 300k and you know nobody can get it it'll it'll kind of be at 300k and it'll go up a little bit but if everybody can get it we talking about it looked like they were dropping 96s so we talking about prices going instantly they're going to come out and be like i'm going to say 400 500 like within the first 30 minutes and after that we're gonna see an instant decline I'm talking about at least 20% at least a 20% decline within the first hour to two hours and then after that it just depends on how they're gonna disperse the promo so you guys gotta be smart right now today you guys are gonna see this video a uh, day before the promo the promo is supposed to drop on Tuesday do not do anything crazy with your coins if you guys want a small coin making method like something that's gonna make you a little bit of coins, but not nothing too crazy. You guys are not gonna do, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose any coins. My best advice would be to snipe like 88s to 89s because if you snipe an 88s to 89, the cards are only like 40k, 30k, and then if you if you happen to get stuck with one to two cards, that's only 60 to 80k instead of getting stuck with something like 92s to 93s, and then you stuck with two or three cards, and that ends up being your whole cash stack. You know what I'm saying? So. Keep that in mind. Uh, what I would do is if you guys are not level 80 like me, I will grind out to get to level 80. You know, I'm slowly but surely grinding this out. And I think that's one of the better ways that you guys could, you know, get a little extra coins because you guys get coins by leveling up. You guys get object objectives. You guys get stuff like that. Also, if I were you, I would also get into some draft champions. Draft champions is a great way to make coins. Um, there's multiple ways to do this. I, I could try, I'll go through and show you guys what's the best way and what's the not the most profitable way, but what's what's a good way. Um, before we get into this, I will say clean out your binder right now. I mean, if you guys have a lot of you know silvers, golds, uh, leads you're not using, clear them out. You know whatever it is. I got a couple. You, you guys can see I got plenty of. Uh, 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 power ups that I'm not gonna sell. I mean, I just have a crazy amount of power ups. I'll show you guys. Uh, where's the power ups at? Okay, I can't for some reason. Oh, here they are. I got 51 power ups, man. Just 51 power ups that just are random cars. Some of these cars are actually powered up, but some of them are not. Uh, but yeah, you know, I got massive amount of power ups that I probably could make like 50 to 100k off of if I sold these cards, but I'm not. I just don't feel like going through that process. And for you guys' sake, I would say go through that process. Go through that process and see if you guys can get some coins out of that. Also, sell cards that you're not using, um, sell cards that you can make profit on. And a lot of people say that they sh like this is this is some just advice. All right. So maybe maybe it might not work for you guys maybe it will so let's say i'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm gonna look at my top overall cards. So I'm gonna look at my top overall cards, and I'm gonna, t I'm gonna show, tell you guys this. So let's say, um, let's look at, let's just look at. I don't know who I should be looking at. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who I should be looking at. Let's say I got Randy Moss, right? Let's say I have his 95 overall card, and right now he's going for 400k. Me personally. I got a power up. I mean, he's a net right now, but me personally, I will pull Randy, Mount, Randy uh, Moss out of here. I would downgrade him, right? He's a net. He's a net, by the way, so whatever I do doesn't matter. I would downgrade him, put his 95 on the auction block, and then if he sells, I get those coins, right? These cars are going to drop tomorrow. I'll rebuy him instantly because what, ha what happens is he'll probably drop in price because he's not like... He's not coming out. His promo is not coming out. So we know for a fact Randy Moss is not getting a team of the year card. So these cars right here, we know are going to drop in value. And you could do that with a lot of cars on your team. You could sell them and then go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, re-up on them when the power up, I mean, when the uh, promo hits. And then you guys will have a little extra coin. So now you got 400K invested in Randy Moss, right? Let's say you sell them for 400K, they take it out, you get back 360, right? But then let's say you see Randy Moss on the auction block tomorrow you know throughout the day on the promo day for 330 now you've made 30k on that randy moss that you realistically would have lost 70k on if that makes any sense so you know that's just something that you got to think about the next thing i would do is i will probably get into some draft champions there's multiple ways you could do it uh it's it's a little to no risk with these unless you're doing you know the ranked which i enjoy doing the rank because you know when you win the ranked drafts you, you're you're guaranteed a lot of coins if you if you guys can get six wins i mean obviously if you can get six wins you guaranteed a 40k right you guarantee the red zone pack will sell for six i mean 25k so that's automatically 65k if you guys could get six wins right so that's 65k then you get three mil midfield packs which each sell for 9k each so that's another let's just average it out and you got three make it let's just say it's another 30k so now you averaging 100k per six wins so if you guys could get six wins in this division right here in this with this uh premium draft that's 100k you guys could get and i know it's gonna be tough so i don't expect everybody to get six wins in the premium draft so let's say you got six wins in a standard draft right i mean it's, it's the same situation so you're gonna get 30k you you're basically you're gonna average around I'm going to say like 80K with this one. So, because you get the 25, which is got with the red zone, which is going to uh, put you at 55. Then you get nine from the mid midfield packs, which is going to put you at uh, 64. Then you get another nine, which is going to put you at 73. And then you get two Hail Mary packs, which it just depends on what you get out of those Hail Mary packs that could put you at 80K or put you at 75K. But let's just say you're averaging 75K if you get six wins. Within the day, depending on if people quitting or not, or if you grinding it out, you could probably get two to three of these six and O's going on. That's 150k that you're making in a day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's easy coins. You know, it's no risk. You guys are putting in 9k to enter with the premium. You're putting in 5k to enter. And then if you guys just want to play against the computer, I mean, you're not averaging as many coins, but you're averaging around 40k per six wins so you know you got you get your uh 18k to quick sell then you get your two midfield packs which sell for 9k each which is another 18k which will make 36k and then i'm gonna say you got three hail mary packs which you gotta average 1k about what 1.5k each pack to make it 40k so like i said this the solo rewards this one you're gonna average about the solo uh draft you're gonna average about uh six wins in about an hour so you guys can get those what 40k in an hour about an hour hour 10 so you probably could knock about like three or four of those out within a day if you guys just wanted to grind it out it's up to you man there's multiple ways you can make coins but i just want to show you to tell you guys that that's probably the best ways right now to get some coins at low risk and get ready for this team of the week promo i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get to some more coins right now i don't know if i'm gonna sell my uh, sell some players some power-ups or I don't know if I'm gonna get into this uh, draft champions because I'm, I'm enjoy playing the game but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure y'all drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new good luck and I'm out peace